GC. Welcome to another edition of GC TV. I'm Maggie Turner here with Skylar Val. We want to remind you that Evan Crawford's funeral is today at 3 at his house ministries. Don't forget to wear your yellow smiley faces in remembrance of Evan. Tonight's girls basketball game has been canceled. Webster County did not want to make the long drive with the threat of winter weather looming. As of right now, the boys are still scheduled to play Massac County at the Marshall County Hoop Fest. The game tips off at 530. If you are scheduled for Saturday school this weekend, you need to listen up. If school is closed tomorrow, there will be no Saturday school. Again, if school is closed tomorrow, there will be no Saturday school. The December FBLA meeting is Thursday, December 12th in the pack. It will be Christmas themed. All members should attend. This is the last day to join FBLA. In order to compete at the Region 1 Conference, your dues of $13 must be paid by that date. One of the skills that could help you earn a job in today's economy is the ability to code for computer, for computer programs. Here we are, 2013. We all depend on technology to communicate, to bank, and none of us know how to read and write code. The first program I wrote asked uh, things like, what's your favorite color, or how old are you? I wrote a program to play tic-tac-toe. I first learned how to make a green circle and a red square appear on the screen. You're just trying to make something, trying to transfer something from your mind to the computer or to, to a tablet. is uh, it's, uh, it's an experience. The whole limit in the system is just that there just aren't enough people who are trained and have these skills today. The programmers of tomorrow are the wizards of the future. You know, you're going to look like you have magic powers compared to everybody else. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. Stay tuned after the pledge for a deeper look at those skills. Attention all students if you'd like to represent GCHS in the upcoming <laughs> Governor's Cup Academic Competition. This is the time to try out for written assessment tests. Tryouts will be in Mr. Krug's room E33 next Monday after school. You'll be able to try out for the Mathematics, Science, Social Studies, Language Arts, or Arts and Humanities categories. Seniors, MSU will be at GCHS on Monday, December 9th, and WKCTC will be at GCHS on De on Tuesday, December 10th, to conduct scholarship workshops during CCR in the computer lab. Beta Club members will be selling candy grams at lunch today through Friday. This is your chance to buy your favorite teacher, friend, or loved one a candy cane and write a special message for them. Stop by the table in the Commons during lunch today or Thursday to learn more. You go, Glenn Coco! <laughs> also, also, seniors, if you want a class of 2014 senior shirt, you may place an order at the bookstore during lunch, and you must pay when you order. The cost is $12. The deadline to order your shirt is Friday, December 13th. This Friday, December 6th, is the deadline for uploading a photo for the ACT website for the December 14th test. Students who have not uploaded a photo by this date will not be allowed to take the test. There will be a free ACT workshop next week. The morning sessions begin at 7 a.m. and the afternoon sessions begin at 3.15 p.m. The following dates are Monday, December 9th for reading in B17. It's, it's a morning session. For the afternoon, it's reading in the lead building. Tuesday, December 10th for English in B16 in the morning and afternoon. Wednesday, December 11th in the morning, Ms. Overby is having a session for those who have a math score of 25 or above. She is also having another math session in the afternoon for all students. Thursday, December 12th for science in room B07. This is an afternoon session. Friday, December 13th for science in room E32. This is also, or this is a morning session. Also, attention all students. We'll be collecting non-perishable food items for our Christmas food drive during your first period classes this week. The first period class that collects the most items will get a hearty sausage biscuit, H&C donuts, and juice and milk as their prize. During the break, Michael Big Mike Hamilton gives us a look at our weather. And they seem like such beautiful, peaceful beasts. Oh no, we'll show you how giraffes battle it out when you're not watching. giraffes say
they don't do much except this. <laughs> What's up, Gators County? Michael Hamilton here with your GCTV weather forecast. As you know, this afternoon will be raining today with only a high of 46. Tonight, we're looking at a wintry mix that involves some ice, some sleet, and some rain with a low of only 29. Now, I'll carry over into Friday. We'll have another wintry mix with only a high of 29. At Friday night, a 30% chance of snow with a low of 15. For the rest of your weekend, we're looking at a high of about 32. Uh, stay warm, GC. It's the truth. Seniors, you need to be sending in pictures for your senior video. Any pictures you've taken so far, you can send those to Bryna Cagle. Her email is bryna.cagle at stu.graves.kyschools.us. All photos need to be turned in by Friday, December 13th. Please, for the love of anything good and holy, send them in. Seniors, don't forget to schedule your headshot at Wells Studio for the yearbook. Wells is open Tuesday through Friday. You can call 247-1851 for your appointment. These appointments need to be done before Christmas break. Student council members need to sign up for t-shirts and for times to ring bells for the Salvation Army. Sign up sheets are in Miss Hunter's room in BL5. Also, please, please bring $7 to Miss Hunter for t-shirt money. Anyone needing community service hours, please see Miss Horn or Miss Colley in the Youth Services Center for various community service opportunities. Don't forget, tomorrow's FBLA and Deckard Lambert's trip is canceled. If you've already paid your $11, please see Miss Gaddis or Miss McKee for a refund. All girl cheerleaders have their cookbooks for sale at $10 a piece. Contact a team member or one of the coaches, Cheryl Hawkins or Tina Nance, to purchase a cookbook and help our girls raise money. Balfour ring balances have been placed in the glass case in the Commons. At final delivery, you must have cash, a money order, or a cashier's check. They do accept debit or credit card payment over the phone at 270-527-6654. Well, that's all we have for today, guys. For GCTV, I'm Maggie Turner. And I'm Skylar Val. Don't forget to stay tuned for the coding video after the pledge. Also, congrats to the academic team for winning the academic bowl and sending those Vikings back to Scandinavia. Uh, good job, guys.